Hello everyone and welcome to another English with Joseph Wow. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about breathing. Now before the Brexit thing happened, we were talking a lot about accent reduction and things that you can do to help to reduce your accent. One of the key things you can do to reduce your accent is breathe properly to take correct breaths. Now, this is quite a controversial subject because when you go for English lessons, they don't usually talk to you about breathing. And the reason why they don't do that is because they're not really interested in helping you to reduce your accent. They want to teach you more things like grammar, um, verbs, tenses. They don't really know how to teach you about speaking. Where they do know, they might talk a little bit about intonation of the voice going up and down, but actually breathing is the key thing that you need in order to speak English correctly. Your accent is really not so important if you can breathe properly. So, I say again, breathing is most important. Now, every language has their own way of breathing. I'm living here in Spain. Sometimes I think Spanish people uh, don't breathe because they're so expressional. They're always ba 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 And of course they do, but they, they, they control their breathing in a very different way from English people who take very deep breaths and then say what they want to say. Okay. And today I'd like to ask you to look at your breathing to see how you breathe. Because when you have enough air in your body, you can speak very well. You can speak very well. There's many different types of breathing. There's the shallow breathing that comes from your throat. And some people even breathe from here, but when you can breathe from your belly to bring the breath up and the words out, then your whole body is involved and your shoulders bounce. Now I know when I do that it makes me seem like I come from the Caribbean or Africa, but it's not like that at all. It's designed to help you to improve improve your breathing by letting the breath come up. So I'd like you to take one hand and put it on your belly, just below here in your belly, okay? Just here. And I want you to put your other hand here on your chest like this, okay? And I want you to breathe in. And when you breathe in, your belly should be coming out and your chest should be going in. This is called diaphragmatic breathing. Okay. What a lot of people do is when they breathe, their belly goes in and their chest comes out to make them seem more masculine. And this is the wrong way to breathe in English. It's very interesting the differences between American English and British English. Americans are more interested in power speaking. That's why we have all these power records from America, you know, where they practically scream at you about love. Because that's the way they speak to one another. They're very interested in what we call power speaking, which comes from the belly and out. And that's fine for them. That's absolutely fine for them. You know, right at this moment when I'm speaking to you, I can hear a lot of Spanish people shouting behind me in my window. So I'm just going to close it for one moment. I don't know if you can hear them, but it sounds to me like they don't have any problems with their diaphragmatic breathing. So, um, again, you put one hand on your stomach and the other hand on your chest. And when you're breathing, the stomach should be going out and the chest should be going in. 
not the other way around. Okay? And this gives you more breath to begin the start of a sentence. Stomach out, chest in, and breathe with you the words that you want to say. Okay? And this is a wonderful way to reduce your accent and to let your words flow. And that's today's advice. So we'll be looking again at breathing in the coming days. It's interesting that a lot of English teachers don't get involved in breathing or this kind of thing. It's considered to be outside of language learning. A few English teachers do enjoy this. <clears throat> Those of you who who have had lessons with me will know that I love the voice and I love voice work. I'm very interested in the voice. I'm very interested in the voice as a musical range. I'm very interested in how voices can change the world. I'm also very interested in presentations and how to speak properly. So that's today's tip. I, I want you to breathe, but I need you to breathe from your belly and bring the words up. This might take a moment of relaxation, okay? But it's something I'd like you to begin working with. There's loads of resources on the internet about this. In fact, I looked at one this morning, <clears throat> which is a series of exercises on YouTube called Raquel Linguist. Um, she's an American lady, so they're very into their power speaking, you know. I don't really like that, but it will teach you some helpful breathing exercises, especially if you're interested in American English. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Remember, you can uh, find more about this um, on other videos that I've done in the past um, because I'm very interested in voice work, so have a look through the, the other videos I've done. You can also find other details um, <clears throat> by uh, booking a lesson with me. You can find me on Twitter, at TaggartJ7. You can also find my books on Amazon. I haven't written specifically about breathing, <clears throat> but it, it's definitely something that um, I'll be writing about in the future. Well, that's all I want to say today. Oh, remember my Facebook as well, which is English with Joseph. Take care. See you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.